The influence of Sir William Stahl in colonial Victoria was profound. When Stahl arrived in Melbourne in 1842, he was an agnostic. But in 1848, one sermon alone, preached by the great Anglican Bishop Charles Perry, changed the course of Stahl's life, and he became a devout Anglican Christian. From then on, Stahl's influence on Victoria and its future was enormous. He was the colony's first Attorney General and played a major part in drafting the new constitution of the colony of Victoria, a constitution that predated Australia's 1901 constitution by 40 years. Stahl assisted in the foundation of numerous charitable institutions and helped to form the constitution of the Anglican Church in Victoria. He favoured self-government of the Church by a democratic assembly and always took an active part in the deliberations of Synod over which he exercised very considerable influence. Even as Chief Justice, despite his many other civic duties, Stahl still found time each Sunday to teach at an Anglican Children's Sunday School. William Stahl was born in 1815 in County Cork, Ireland, the second son of ten children. He was educated at Trinity College in Dublin, and he was called to the bar and practised law in Dublin until 1842. He then immigrated, at the age of 27, to Melbourne, Australia. He was admitted to the Port Phillip District Bar in early 1843, and soon built up a considerable practice, handling criminal and civil cases. He became an advocate for separation of the Port Phillip colony from New South Wales. This separation took place in 1851, and Victoria was formed as an independent colony of Britain. The governor appointed Stahl to be Attorney General, and a member of the new Legislative Council. In this role, he set up the administrative framework and laws for the new independent colony as Chief Justice. He set up a Supreme Court for Victoria, a County Court, the Court of General Sessions, and the Insolvency Court, and prepared a constitution for the new independent colony. He largely framed the Victorian Constitution Bill of 1854. In this, he aimed to reproduce the leading components of the British Constitution, Crown, Lords and Commons. For the Upper House, he substituted a house selected by property owners, university graduates, lawyers, doctors, clergymen and naval and army officers. The Lower House was also to have a restricted franchise. He thus guarded conservative interests and carried the bill through the Interim Legislative Council. It was enacted by the British Parliament in 1855 and Victoria became a separate, self-administered colony in Australia. Stahl chose the names of the two Victorian Houses, Legislative Council and Legislative Assembly, which are still in use today. He married Mary Green in 1856 and in order to be able to stand for the new Legislative Assembly he bought a house in Kew where he established vegetable gardens, an orchard with fruit trees from all over the world, a vineyard, stables and a dairy with Irish dairy maids. He was president of the Philosophical Institute of Victoria the equivalent of the Royal Society, from 1858 to 1859. He also oversaw the arrangements for the ill-fated Burke and Wills expedition. He was a trustee of the Public Library, President of the Victorian Deaf and Dumb Institution, and President of both the Melbourne Hospital and the Benevolent Asylum. From its foundation, he was a member of the Council of the University of Melbourne, 
and was for a brief period its Chancellor. Besides his public life, he was a caring and courageous man. He once saved a drowning man from the Yarra River and once stopped a runaway horse and cart laden with women and children. In 1889, he sailed with his wife for England, but died suddenly in 1889 at age 74. The country town of Stall in Western Victoria is named to honour William Stall, and we honour him, a devout Christian who was pivotal in establishing Victoria as a self-governing colony and setting up Victoria's legal and political structure which is still in place today. Christians and